How's it everybody and welcome to Psych Online Gaming. My name is Psych and we are doing the Radius mod for Total War Warhammer 2. Now, um, as we've explained in the previous video guys, um, we're going to use all four new races to play against old races. Now they have been modified of course, uh, but to play against the old races and just to see how they match up in general. Okay, so for this game I uh, ended up playing the Lizardman and Shadow from Shadow Online Gaming who is joining me. Um, he will be playing the Warriors of Chaos. Okay, and they've got some cool units that can go in there. Of course guys, uh, just a big shout out to Shadow from um, Shadow Online Gaming for arranging this, for letting me know about the mod and of course for uh, you, know, you know being available so we can get these recordings done and just show you guys these games. It's pretty epic. So uh, for this battle, I knew I was going up against Chaos. So I've got three squads of um, the regular Saurus Warriors. Oh, wait, no, I am lying guys. Let me see. Yes, okay, so three squads, four squads of the regular Soros Warriors, so it's one, uh, two, and three over there. I do have uh, the fourth one over there. I also have a squad of Temple Guard, and the Temple Guard being uh, Soros Warriors, but with armor piercing, which I find really interesting here, and there's the second squad of Temple Guards. Off here to the flank, I have an Ancient Stegadon with a rank, uh, and two squads of the regular Skink Skirmishers. Off to here at the back line, I've got one squad of Croxigors on the right flank. I also have a squad of Croxigors on the left flank. My army is led by Mazdamunde, Lord Mazdamunde. And uh, yeah, I wanted to take him just pretty much to see what he can do and how badass he really is. And for him, I really ended up... Uh, it's weird, I, I don't like taking lots of abilities on spellcasters typically, uh, but he's got Rolling Skies, of course, he's got the uh, Sunburst standard, and I gave him Curse of the Midnight Winds, and I gave him Apotheosis, which is surprisingly good when you want to heal things, especially considering I have three really big things. Over here, I've got a Skink Chief on an Ancient Stegadon. Off to my left-hand flank, I just have two squads of the um, Feral Cold Ones. So it's just, uh, yeah, they just over here, they just do some additional uh, armor piercing. Because, yeah, at the end of the day, we do need some fast units to deal with the ranged units that the Warriors of Chaos might have brought. So over here, we do have Shadow, and let's have a quick look at Shadow's deployment. So Shadow decided to go for four squads of the Chaos Marauders. That's dual-wielding weapons. Pretty damn cool. Here in the middle, he has the uh, Crimson Skull Cultists. They also look pretty cool, the little cultist masks. Uh, more marauders, more marauders. Of course, here on this flank, we have the uh, cavalry, oh, yeah, blood god cavalry, right? So they're pretty much like Cornish cavalry. Uh, they're really good. They've got strider, immune to psychology, and encourage. Off here to the rear, we've got the Ravens of Zinch. As you guys should know by now, uh, Shadow really likes Zinch, so he's got an anti launch squad over here. They're basically chosen with Holberts. Um, here in the middle, ironically enough, he's got the Chaos Dwarfs with uh, the rifles. They're pretty good. I love them with their little horns and their beards and their stuff. It's just amazing. Another squad of the Chaos Dwarf Riflemen. And finally, we end off here with another squad of the Ravens of Zinch. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. All right, guys, so let's get this battle underway. And uh, here, oh, wow, I missed this. Infiltrated here right at the back of Vanguard. Deployed two Flesh Hounds of Corn. I'll try and zoom into them as they come into the battle so we can show you guys exactly what they look like. So starting the battle, my main goal here was to just basically create a main line. And uh, yeah, we'll just see how things go from there. Now, these cavalry uh, decided to come all the way around, go after the Skink Chief. So here's Stegadon, the guys on the Stegadon already opening fire here. Uh, doing a fair amount of damage, not fantastic. These guys do have a lot of armor and they do have the Silver Shields. So yeah, that's actually happening over here, shooting at them. That's quite fantastic. And yeah, just to make sure that... Um, because I noticed he moved out, but there was not much movement from the rest. So, yeah, the army just pretty much split up a little bit, trying to just send some support over that way. And we've got more. Holy crap, we've got Chaos Mounted Warriors with Javelins there at the back. So, yeah, he just got deployed everywhere. 
And uh, so this is the only real battle going off now. I do have the Feral Cold ones trying to just come in here and assist the state. Wow, those lightning effects at the back. It's so good. Um, okay, guys, so here we go now. These are the Flesh Hounds of Corn. They're pretty hardcore, yeah. So they actually have really good looking models. Um, I love it. They just look amazing in here. We have the uh, Javelins as they come in. Yeah, they look pretty freaking cool. All right. So guys, the battle is about to really start here. I nearly made a boo-boo. I wanted to like pull my feral cold ones around, uh, but yeah. So we ended up kind of getting engaged upon. I was trying to just dodge the ravens of Zench, but sadly enough, uh, the way these guys work, they ended up uh, uh, out of control even before uh, they could make it around to the back line. Look at that. They weren't even attacked, and they just ran all the way around there. But these guys are going to try and get into the back line. Now we do have this is the abolish. So we do have the Ruination of Cities that went off. It actually hit quite a few guys. This is the Abolish from Master Moody as well, hitting quite a few guys. Here are the Skink Skirmishers are just trying to shut down this kind of madness that's happening here at the back, trying to go after Lord Master Mundi. He is on the Feral Stegadon though, so it's not all that bad. I'm immediately using my uh, Cold Blooded here. They are engaged in combat, but it's not like a hot, hectic combat, so they might as well just get that regeneration straight off the bat. And uh, yeah, so the, the Blood God Cavalry try to go after Master Mundi, but they're a little bit worried about the Croxigors here, who's also got a Cold Blooded on them right now. Um, and yeah, they're just going to charge into the back lines. Now, there's a squad of Chaos Mirrors with dual weapons that need to start uh, moving into the battle again soon. So the Flesh Hounds of Corn end up right here into the Skinks. Unfortunately, um, I was busy with things here and I forgot to switch off Skirmisher. So you'll just see they are going to shoot at them for pretty much the whole game. But yeah, I kind of forgot about that. That's. That is my bad. Maybe just a little bit too excited about what's happening here. But as you guys can see, we've effectively shut down the back line here. Let's just get inside the bubble so we can see here. Uh, the Temple Guard have engaged with the Chaos Dwarfs over there. We've got uh, Stegodons just running everywhere. The Skink Chief, guys, I had to regenerate this thing like 12 times this game. So that was pretty hardcore. Um, the Chosen of Slanesh here doing quite a bit of damage. Um, over here, of course, the Ravens of Zench fighting off against the Soros Warriors. They should win that battle fairly easily. Um, as the Moon is still just hanging around, and we do now have the Ancient Stegadon charging into these guys for a little bit, but he will have to turn around and come back. So here we are, guys. This is the state of the battle as it stands now. We've got the Soros Warriors in here. Majority of the Lizard Men are completely out of control right now, which is fine. I really don't mind all that much. Um, we just have to look here and Mazda Munde, uh, these guys managed to clear themselves from the uh, from our Soros lines that we sent off to them. So we've just got Master Munde running in here. He's coming off to them. There we go. Yeah, that was a big hit on these poor little dwarfs. So he's just coming in there, giving a big hit. This ancient uh, Stegadon also coming around. He's going to try and catch up with them. Hopefully give... There we go. Another big hit coming in. We're just trying to shut down that ranged element. I feel like in close combat, we currently have the advantage. So the ranged guys are the ones really bothering me because the movement speed is so slow when you like ramp paging off to something that yeah things can just kite you for days master munde now uh, feeling fairly confident about life in general he's actually taking on the ravens of zinch we do have the curse of the midnight wings going off here as well and the curse of the midnight wings of course gives them minus 15 armor minus 30 attack so that makes it fairly safe for master munde to be engaged with anybody else which was kind of the thinking behind taking it so the ravens of zinch not doing all that great down here at the moment in time uh, they are fighting against these stegadons. These guys have repositioned, but we did have the uh, both Master Mundes abilities going off on them again. And we're just shielding up there against their potential fire. This stegadon is just chasing these um, Chaos Marauders and the Riflemen all over the place. These guys should be... No, they've still got loads of ammunition left. Uh, so yeah, they're pretty happy with that. These guys are going to turn around. They get re-engaged here with the Ravens of Zinch. And yeah, the Soros Warrior is doing some good work here. Unfortunately for the Lord of Chaos, he found himself slightly slightly in a bad spot. So there he is, guys. And he's just getting trampled by uh, all of the Stegadons around here. Just trying to like get in there and just kill him off. And you guys can see he's doing pretty badly. He's just broken. I wish I could actually find him in this madness. It's just too much big things floating around at this point in time. So yeah, they're just like pushing on him trying to uh, uh, trample him to death. There we go. Finally, the uh, Skink Chief, I believe. No, that was the regular ancient uh, uh, Stegadon. He ends up killing off the Chaos Lord. That sends um, a lot of the army, like, reeling for their lives. The Ravens of Zinch still doing incredibly well. They 
basically on 43 kills already, and they've only been facing the Saurus Warriors, and they're pretty damn tough. So the Stegodons are now moving out. They're not the fastest thing on the planet, but they try at least. They can shoot uh, like at things that's running away. So the Ancient Stegodon just trying to chase these guys off. This uh, uh, Skink Chief on his Ancient Stegodon also just trying to push guys off. You guys can see a lot of guys have shattered already, and this is something that I've noticed. Uh, it's a difference for me between Total War 1 and 2 is typically this would be like a chain shadow and everything would run away but it's not the case i think their morale system is a little bit better in this game it's not as punishing as it used to be in the first game but that's just my take i might be wrong so here we go guys now this basically is what shadow has left he has these um uh, chaos uh, mounted warriors with javelins left a few guys there at the end so i'm just gonna fast forward this for you guys uh we were actually talking uh, a lot of random crap about this game and just discussing it and the units and everything um and how we found this game while this was going on um so yeah we're just gonna forward this now and basically the only thing left for the lizard men to do is to start running after all of these chaos units just try and make sure they don't uh rally and if they do rally to literally just scare them off again that's a fairly big battle uh, that's been happening. I just love these lightning effects. While you play the game, you actually have the lightning in the background and everything. It is really, really, really epic. It's such cool atmospheric sounds. So Mazda Munde is finally sort of getting on these guys. And literally, uh, to be honest, we were waiting for the ammunition to run out. Because we do have a lot of guys chasing after everybody. And they should catch up and they should be able to kill them. Uh, and this was literally just waiting, just fighting to the last man, making sure that, you know, nobody can say the Chaos Warriors didn't end up fighting this battle as hard as they could. So we do manage to get a charge into them, and immediately that sends them wavering. So they're very close to breaking out. These guys as well, uh, they're just running around trying to be extra annoying, and I'll just forward this again. They can fire while they move, and they're just duking Lizardmen left, right, and center. Uh, can they win this match with Chaos? Unfortunately not. They're all running out of ammunition really 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 fast uh, you guys can see there's six javelins each and then they're down to about five they're down to about four by now almost yeah there we go they're down to about four and we're just gonna leave this here just check the very last moments so, okay they're down to about three javelins each and you can see we're just chasing everybody away master Munde here at the end he just chased that last squad off of the battlefield itself uh, but yeah they could run at this point in time but unfortunately you also get those warnings that you're losing ground if you constantly keep on running away from your enemy this stegodon has now reached a uh, range distance this stegodon has also reached it but they both ran out of ammo at the same time but there we go skink chief coming in your guys just getting that last hit in there sending these guys uh really spiraling they're wavering right now it's just too much for them to handle they've done their job they've had enough of this i just love these little uh, burning eyes and the burning footsteps that they leave everywhere these are the chaos mounted warriors of course and yeah so there we go they have to stop finally and uh, try and engage into combat and that's going to be the end of that so guys in this bout of old versus new the lizard men have popped up on top they have come out swinging really 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 well and uh, again gg to shadow that was a pretty good game um I do love these uh, Ravens of Zinch, they're fantastic. The Chosen of Slanesh, not doing all that well. But the Flesh Hounds of, K of Corn, man, they just chowed every lost skink we had. Not much we could do about it. Unfortunately, these um, Chaos Dwarf Riflemen, they don't seem to be doing all that well. Um, or they couldn't this game. I don't know if we just shut them down really effectively. Or if it was literally just a case of, you know what, they were shooting, um, but they, they were struggling to do the damage. Uh, over here on the Lizardmen side, 78 kills for Mazda Muni, really cool. Skink Chiefs on Stegodons, guys. Really freaking strong, believe it or not. Really strong, especially if you've got somebody with uh, with Apotheosis, they can just heal them up. But 46, 47, 81, really good. Temple got 85, 65, really good. Skink's doing nothing. The uh, Feral Cold Ones, this squad got caught out early on. This squad at least had some fun with the Chaos. Dwarves, but yep, doing all right. Croxigors clocking in kills, and then of course, uh, nice kills on the ancient Stegodon. This in itself just shows that every single lizard man performed this game, which is really good. Um, 
yeah, this is this is still pretty new. So it's old world versus new. And in this bout of old world versus new, the new world came out on top. So the lizard men managed to, <coughs> excuse me guys, the lizard men managed to get the best of the warriors of chaos this time around. Now, of course, guys, the next game to come up um, will be Shadow playing a new army versus myself playing an old army. Um, he will be playing the high elves, and I will be playing the vampire coast which is this game's version of the Vampire Counts. That is going to be an interesting game, guys. I, I can just see that going like horrendously wrong for me, potentially. I've got a plan, but depending on how that plan works, it's either going to be really epic or it's going to be blah, 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 and die. Okay, so that's going to be it. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you like the content on my channel, hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, hit that like button. That would be fantastic. Leave a comment. I love engaging with you guys. I hope you enjoy watching this content from this mod again, guys. This is the Radius mod. Um, there will be a link in the description below for where you can go and find this mod. And of course, uh, a big thank you to Shadow Online Gaming for, again, just setting this up, getting me involved and um yeah it's just fantastic work man thank you very much you uh, if you guys want to go check it out this battle will also be on his channel but from his perspective so go check it out guys go support shadow for the good work that he does he brings a lot of youtubers together so i think that's really really uh commendable uh, the links for his channel will be below as well. Also on the end screen of this video, you can find that button. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. That's going to be it from me. I'm going to see you guys for the next recording. But until then, bye-bye.